Well, you've probably seen those images now in the news in the last day or so uh, about Louisiana. Man, you look at the picture here. <laughs> the water's up to their chest. You know, and this is actually a, a flood like this is how I learned about government programs. And I didn't. I grew up in a little town called Wilkesboro, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I'm 76 years old, so that was long ago. But back in the 70s, man, our whole town was hit with a flood like this, wiped out our businesses, houses, and everything. And, and what happened was the government came in, and boy, the money that was poured into everything, my family, you know, uh, uh, was a recipient of this and it changed their life and uh, got them a new house and a new business and everything. It was just remarkable. And I, I didn't know anything about government programs at this time. And that's why I spend about, uh, the rest of my life now trying to educate people about what's good about the government. And, and it's programs like this. You may may not need them. That's an interesting. Uh, but now, w whether you're hit by a flood, now hurricanes, all these things coming up, uh, or even a current financial emergency, nothing to do with the floods or hurricanes or any weather problems, that it's just life <laughs> that's given you a problem, you know, that, that the help is there too. And, and that's what I'm trying to do, is show people about these programs. So how do you know about it? Well, if you, if you don't come to me and give me money, there's other ways to start learning about it. And one of the good ways is really uh, 211.org. If you go there and really you call them anywhere, 211, some places it's you call 311, like uh, Manhattan and, and Chicago. And that's very few places, though. But normally you can just call 211 or go to uh, 211.org and put in your zip code and see this is a database of nonprofit and government offices. This is why if you go to Google and find this stuff, you're going to get a billion people that want to make money off of your misery right that's what they're all there they want to make money right so they buy advertising to find you on google and they're going to spend you know tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars advertising to find you because they'll get money out of you to try to solve your problem these websites I'm giving you <laughs> give you money. They don't take your money <laughs> like everybody you're going to find at Google. They give you money. Man, <laughs> isn't that a refreshing? But you can't find it. You know? And that's the problem because they don't advertise on Google. So you're going to they'll be in Google somewhere, but you know, in a billion websites, they're going to be on page you know, 80,000 or something of, uh, of your search. So this is a place to do, see, .org. That's what you want to do is look for .org or .com. Okay, here's another place, too. Is your elected official, particularly a disaster like now what's going on in Louisiana, there's no set up things for it. There's there are going to be new grants to help these people. But how do you find out about it? Okay, one is through 211.org. And even to, uh, you know, to get ahead of that is go to your elected official. Okay, how do you find your elected official? Okay, Common Cause. So if you go to commoncause.org, they have a great website there that will find your local officials. And you call up their local office, the congressmen, senators, you know, whatever. They all have people on their staff to help you find out about government programs. <laughs> They'll do for free <laughs> what I charge them for. So I'll use the free ones first. <laughs> yeah, and it's there. I mean, they can really help because they'll know ahead of time and they have the power over government agencies. I don't. I just said, show you what the, where the governments are and what the agencies are. What they do, they're passing the laws. So the government agencies work better for them than they will for me. I could call them and, and understand the system, but see, the elected official gives their money. That's where their budget comes from. So they have special phone numbers for the <laughs> congressmen and senators uh, uh, to, to call. You know, so they get in right away. You and I are going to have to wait in line. You know, and that's it. And so certainly organizations like FEMA will have something, but see, new programs like this, they're not, they're, they still have to be put into law. So that's why you, your elected official is going to know about them before FEMA even knows about them. So that's the important thing. And so uh, uh, the existing programs, that's a little different, but you start with those two things. And then what I also set up for free for people it, it is a special website that has 37 ways that the government is able to help you with anything, not only financial emergency, but education, housing, all kinds of things. And if you go to this website, free www, put that in for some reason, uh, that works better if you start with that, www.free.lesco.com slash lesco member. And you put in your email address, 
Uh, and But it's completely free. You'll never be asked for money again. If you want to buy something, certainly I won't say no. <laughs> okay, so now it says you're almost done. And, th and then uh, you get to a s place here where there's 37 videos. They're only about one or two uh, minutes long, and they're everything from how to get a better job or education, uh, how to be a freelancer and make money at home. These are what I'm trying to do is show you, educate you about the kinds of programs that you could get for free. These are all ways that the government and nonprofit organizations help you for free that you'll never find in Google because Google wants to get money from you. Okay, okay, grants to help you pay your utility bills and expenses, living, housing and education, I mean, housing and, and real estate development. Uh, prescription drugs, healthcare, legal help, you know, uh, um, people do free research for you, you know, uh, creating a second income, all these things that I have available, you just click on here, watch the video for any of these, and then that gives you uh, a way to get there. You can call your congressman and see what they know. <laughs> you know. I've been studying this for 35 years. Sure, there's people that know uh, probably parts of this better than I do. But uh, whatever you do, use me, you don't use me. The important thing that you know that you live in a country where these programs are available. You know? And a lot of people make fun of the government. And they're easy to make fun of. It's sort of like me. It's easy to make fun of me, right? <laughs> but there's good things about it, too. Yeah. So use the good things. Try to change the bad things. Yeah. And the trick is to get through life as easy as you can. Or at least know the help that's out there for to help you get through life. That's the important thing, because otherwise you're running around in circles, spending money on stuff you don't have to, because it's already out there for free.